Well, hey there, it's Mr. Bleeker, and welcome to the next installment of eCampus Live. This is the second flipped classroom that we've offered at College Heights Secondary School uh, for the 2014-2015 school year. I wanted to show you how to get there, so I went to the College Heights Secondary School homepage, and we call it eCampus Live because it's a flipped classroom. It's a digital class where the lectures are uh, available on YouTube and available digitally, and when you come in class we do project and inquiry based learning. What does that mean? It means we do a lot of stuff at school and that information is constantly available to you. Part of that information that's available to you all the time is me. So let's get right to it. Uh, we're just at the course site. Um, if you have to Google College Heights Secondary School but I think you can get here. We've got a little link down here. I'll just do a little zoom here. Um, eCampus Live. When you click that, that will take you to the school district Moodle site. Moodle's just a fancy name for um, uh, digital courses that are saved on a, a server here in the school district. So you would click on this one right here. And I'm currently logged in as the instructor. But once you get here, uh, and I'll provide you the passcode in class, this is what you will see. So I've got two tabs open. Let me close one. There we go. And you'll see a couple of useful things. Um, I guess a little uh, bookkeeping, a little business work here. Up here, I like to do um, Google calendars. So when you click on that, anything due in class or anything like that, this is the Biology 12 Google calendar. Doesn't look like much, but if we move back, we'll move back a couple of months here, you can see that the test information are here. And we also like to include study guides over here. So very handy um, and like to use it. Uh, we'll keep going with that. There we go. You'll also see at the top here where it says digital textbook in PDF format. I've gone ahead and opened that for you. Uh, that should be down here. Here we go. This is a digital textbook that you can use in addition to the course book. Uh, I'm quite uh, certain in the future I'm going to move to this. Uh, very neat. It's an open source textbook. And as you go through it, uh, you'll realize why um, I like this so much. For example, if we look at cell structure and function, um, this is smart enough. We can go right to uh, a digital textbook with all the information. And it's not just a, a regular digital textbook, you guys. It'll tell you all about, for example, the information. What it does that's above that is it contains links sort of like a digital book. And as you move through this, you'll find that there are not just digital links, but there will be links to uh, YouTube content, for example, right here. I've gone ahead and made this available in PDF format. And this is a, a pretty robust book. Everything you would want is in here. Let me see if I can go back to the uh, table of contents. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you dizzy, but I'll just pop back to the table of contents. Uh, there it is. This contains pretty well everything we do in the course and more. You also have the old tried, tested, and true um, hard copy textbook. But as you can see, there's some pretty amazing content here. If you travel on the road, this is the lighter version. I kid you not. The textbook, uh, I will make it available uh, not only in the digital PDF format, but I will soon here make it available in uh, the Kindle format and iBooks format, really any format you want. That's the wonderful thing about this CK12 digital textbook. So a big shout out to the folks at CK12 uh, for doing some great open source work. Move down a little bit. Um, here's prescribed learning outcomes. And I, I might just make a link to this, make this smaller, but this is what we learn in the course. So I won't spend a lot of time on it now, but that's the substance of the course. So you can see cell biology, big chunks on DNA, human body systems. Some people come into the course and think it's all human body systems. Not so. You need to look at this first block and you'll get an idea very quickly that there's a lot of biochemistry uh, to this course. Okay, so I'll go down. The course is arranged in blocks. So you'll see here where it says topic two, for example. That uh, will take you directly to the first element that we do, cell structure and function. And go through here. You'll see uh, biochemistry. Sometimes I move these units around, but for now, this is the order they're in. Uh, DNA, the molecular basis of inheritance, 
and there's a lot there. Membrane structure and function, so the skin of the cell, we analyze what that's all about and how, um, how cells control what enters and leaves, what the metabolic processes are. That leads us into enzymes. When I say enzymes, just think metabolism, these little molecular machines that do work in our bodies. And then we get into the human body systems. And there's quite a bit here that just carries on and on throughout the course. So this first video is just to familiarize you with aspects of the site. Um, just go down a little bit more. The most important aspect to the site is realize that this is a, each topic will start with a sort of a little uh, portion about what the uh, section is about, just sort of that relevancy. And then what I did is I created um, what are called lessons. If you click on a lesson, what that will do is it'll take you into the important content. Uh, for example, this is introduction to the cell. Now there'll be slideshows here, and that's just like teacher information. You can think of that as notes. And I, uh, when I teach these videos, I annotate those and explain those. I also like to put up animations. I try to give animations to you that you can take it for a test drive. So uh, exploring what are the parts of the cell so that you can quiz yourself, so you can push yourself a little bit further. Um, you'll need to know these for the projects in, in a project-based learning course. Uh, and um, sometimes I embed the videos. I'm a little bit more of a fan these days of putting links to them and not taking up so much room. So you'll probably see these disappear. So I'll just close that. There you go. There are, uh, look down here for assignments. For example, making a model of the cell. Um, the elements that you're seeing here are the traditional biology 12 elements, but look down there and you'll see the assignments or suggested projects, things that you could try out. Um, it is a project-based learning course. I give you a lot of choice about the things you can do and try. Uh, I found that students want a little bit more interaction. They want a little help, some ideas. So I talk to you live quite a bit and I put suggestions on the site as well. So this will mature. Um, when you're looking at here's sort of the traditional way of been teaching biology 12, I guess traditional for me. Every now and then I'll put examples in there, um, cell project example, just a picture of what some students did for their cell project. And there's sort of an old poster type format. And keep your eye on assignments, keep your eyes on the things down here, for example, that are quizzes. These are formative. I would try these out if I were you, just to see if I know the material. Because in eCampus Live, you will be, you will have time to do your research. You will be quizzed though, to make sure that you are up on your material. Uh, it's kind of important to be up on your material before you step into major projects. Working in a team, that's also a new experience. You need to work in your team and be an active member of your team. Everybody hates a coattail rider, somebody that lets the other people on the team do all the work and just shows up for the credit. Yeah, if that is if that in any way describes you, you really have two choices. Uh, make the change now or become a team of, of one. Uh, I know some people that do very good work just by themselves. And if that's what fits you, then I suggest you do it. Okay? So... Um, eCampus Live, the Moodle site, nice little uh, link here where you can go sort of back and forth, calendar up here, each of the topics here, I guess it kind of feels like a MySpace page at times, doesn't it? Lessons, assignments, look down here for information, quizzes. As you get through the course, and I'll, I'll save you the trouble of becoming dizzy, um, you'll get near the very end, and there we are. And uh, yes, that's an animated GIF. You can watch her open and close her eyes. Final exam preparation. We have multiple old copies of provincial exams for you to take a stab at and see what you know. I would suggest taking a look at it. You can look at it throughout the year. There's great questions there, high-level content. Um, the provincial exams of old were very challenging, and that's a good thing. You really want to put what you know on the line. So ladies and gentlemen, this is eCampus Live, Biology 12. Uh, I look forward to being your instructor and we'll see you out there. Okay, thanks folks.